Good morning, everyone. You are tuned into twitch.tv slash bedsores, coming to you live from my sick couch in the Chronic Illness Autonomous Zone. I'm your host, Alyssa, here with my co-host and transcriptionist, Earl. Let's get some rest today. Welcome to Tokimeki Memorial Tyson Puzzle Dama, a 1995 game released by Konami for a variety of systems. The first thing I must do is come clean. I tried to get this game working in MAME, i.e. get it working as an arcade machine, and I failed. I don't know why. It would try to load the game and then seg fault. That left me with some options, none of which were quite the right option if we're reviewing an arcade game, which is kind of what these streams are. And so, what you have before you is the Saturn version, which I've chosen for its high graphic quality, preponderance of voice acting lines, and the intro CG, which is very cute. It's not fair to judge the arcade version by the Saturn version, because the Saturn version has so much more, like this. The general conceit of Tokimeki Memorial is paper thin. There are girls. They go to the same high school as us. In the high school, there is a legend that if two people confess their love for each other underneath the tree of legend, then they will have a fairy tale romance that lasts their entire lives. So now we're going to date them. The tree? No, we're not going to date the tree. You can see immediately that this game is facsimilizing Tokimeki Memorial with these down left scrolling checkered backgrounds. The little jumping bear, which I don't really understand, and the green text boxes. The green text boxes are very important. We have a cornucopia of girls laid out before us. has the right to dream, for there are endless numbers of girls stretched out before him. I could pick the one with the best drop table. Of course this game has drop tables. I hate drop tables. You should hate drop tables. If you don't hate drop tables, don't tell me. It's impossible to balance. It would be boring if I just picked the best one and we only got to hung out with one girl. So I've invented a technology that can bring us into the girl-laden future. I have a girl button, and it's going to roll a girl for us. Let's see what girl it rolls. Well, without further ado, it's time for the greatest final boss in all of video games, Shiori Fujisaki. We start on this little game board world map and immediately go to one of the game's famous dating sim locations, and we have a short exchange with a randomly selected opponent. <laughs> Versus Saki. Oh, good. So that turns our balls into kept balls. I'm not going to... I'm not doing a ball counter. It's Tyson Puzzle Dama. It's a ball game. Yay, okay. She sent us some garbage. I want to see that because it's kind of annoying to stack on your own. So this mode is not giving me Saki's regular garbage table. It's just giving me all of one color. Weird that the music doesn't loop. She's clawing at her throat. What is this, Higurashi? Took too long. Oh, she's crying. Going to the boxing ring. And we're meeting... Yumi. Shut up, Yumi. Yumi Gambario. So this isn't Yumi's actual garbage table. In a lot of ways, Tokimeki Memorial is kind of perfect for this kind of game. As always, our characters in the background are emoting based on the game state. And just as in Tokimeki Memorial, there are so many subtle facial expressions assets that they already have, you know? Ah, at the boutique versus Mira. So. 
So yeah, of the 12 base girls in Tokimeki Memorial, there is one that is not present, which is Miharu, the stalker girl, but she is a secret character, and you can unlock her as well as the two boy main characters. Sounds, the beginning of this theme sounds a little bit like the opening to Attack on Titan, you know? <laughs> Wish someone would tell me the names of these balls. No. Oh shit. I'm dead. Well, it looks like we'll have to roll on the Wheel of Girl again. Nozomi! We stand a wet queen. Alright. To the carnival. Shut up, Yuko. She is literally in water. Don't fucking hit me with it, Gome! You're not sorry. No garbage canceling, so nothing matters. Uh, she is now at risk of drowning. Great. Weird pose. To the zoo with Megumi. Face down, ass up. That's the way we drop the balls. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, she's fucking killing me. One more try. One more try. I don't like that they're dying. You might say, Alyssa, it's stupid that you're stacking this like Puyo. You'd be right. But I hate listening to you when you're right. <laughs> Are you really going to be beaten by a girl with a yappy dog? No. Go to the karaoke bar. With Ayako. So Ayako's really funny. In, in in the dating sim, her favorite thing to do is to say, like, English fra phrases just at... Are you ready? Like that. Bingo! Listen to see if she does that subtly a couple of times. Alright, we have to enroll a new girl. Let us ask the girl oracle. The Gloracle. Yumi. この日の下で女の子から告白して生まれたカップルは永遠に幸せになれる。うん、ユミ、大好きな先輩にこの気持ちを伝えなくちゃ。Okay. We have a whole game board. Versus Yuko. Do the difficult different difficulties have different dialogue? So I'm wondering if this game has like Sakura Taisen, Hanagumi Taisen has sort of a the girls are fighting over the main character vibe, which is like a fine conceit of competition for the for a game like this, but however is not how Tokimeki Memorial works. Girls will just do and say horrible things. To you. They don't like you. They are so ready to not like you. Test of Tsukashi is 
緒に勉強しませんかへえー、やだなユミ友達と遊ぼうかなって思ってるのにテストの点が悪いと補習で遊ぶどころじゃなくなりますようんでもさあねそれでは行きましょうか There's so much fucking dialogue that they wrote and recorded for this game. Not all of it is in the arcade version. You'd think I'd get good at Tyson Puzzle Dama. You'd think I would learn how to do this game well. You might think that. Alyssa, 1cc bed sores. That's what they call me. Sometimes I get humiliated and want to continue. Same TBH. Fuck off, Yumi. Girl time. So, then, sits me to Yoriba, but I said that I know he told me, Kono Kimotio. Here, night of Parado, eh, Miku? Are Miki Harasa? Then, eh, got in a hole that's so kidded there, eh? Then, Mora, Mora. Give me a red, give me a red, give me a red. No! Okay. And it looks like a certain puppy went ape shit. <laughs> What is the green haired girl's backstory? I've never played this game. I don't know. I know she's a girl. I know that that makes her beautiful. Give me a red. 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 Holy shit. Give me a red. When are you going to give me a red? I meant a blue. Well, that was my fault. Don't be mean. All right, Yukari. Just need another red. One more red. I don't... I don't love that. Why would you bring... Why would you bring a tennis racket to a boxing ring? I'm still probably dead, is the thing. I won. So cute. And 
this pretty much wins. I tire of this girl. Give me another! Ayako! The hard mode for this game is just normal with no peace preview? What a fucking missed opportunity! That's so sad! I'll do. Good timing! Happy! Yeah, the beach girl just drowns. That's how she ends. No! Yoshio! That's a guy. That's the resident creep. Different music, okay. She transitions in the after credits. I don't want Yoshio. Yoshio's whole job is to keep a notebook full of all of the girls' vital details, including their phone number and uh, bust sizes. Maybe he's a tailor. Now that's a good chat message. I guess I got what I asked for. Oh. She has a good drop table. That's frustrating. Night Sands. Shut up. What is the Jacko pose? Is it Guilty Gear thing? Who's Jacko? This is only leading to more questions. Oh. That guy. Face down, ass up, heaven or hell. Oh, we won. <laughs> what? That's your drop table? That's not fair. For our last round. <laughs> Yumina, the queen. I'd let her kill me. Yeah, 
僕は女の子が危険なことをするのを黙って見ていられない将軍でねだからその実験僕が勝ったらやめてもらう What are you gonna do with those? Jumpstart your car? How is this remotely fair? Sorry, I just, I don't think this is. There's no regularity. Final thoughts on Toki Meki Memorial Tyson Puzzle Dama. The presentation isn't this good on the arcade cabinet. There are a few voice lines. Graphical quality is overall lower. There's not, there isn't that beautiful animated intro, so. You know, I can't give it a lot of props, and it's this sort of badly designed Tyson Puzzle Dama thing that doesn't have garbage cancelling and has these unbalanced drop tables, so it's like, eh. I don't, I don't think this is good. I think that's why Tyson Puzzle Dama, despite having such a huge amount of the market right now, TPD games were all over the place. All over the place. But it's not remembered the way that Puyo Puyo is remembered. So. Unfortunately, I could say that this game has potential, but like. Thank you. Yukari, I'm sorry, I need to shut you up. You could say that this has potential, but unfortunately, unless some of the sequels from this game fix a lot of problems, this is kind of a dead end design wise. Sorry to say. It's got girls in it, so I can't rate it anything below a six. Here is how I feel about all the girls in this game. I'd let her kill. 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 This has been twitch.tv slash bedsores, coming to you live from my sick couch in the chronic illness autonomous zone. I've been your host, Alyssa, here with my co-host and transcriptionist, Earl. Take care and do your best. The rich kid is a girl? Seriously? You have to call them 70 times during the game to get their ending. Yeah, fuck this. I want to read about her. Ray is the kind of guy that girls fall over themselves to worship due to his looks. His grandfather is a chairman of Kirameki Private High School and money. He comes complete with a fan club. All the male students of Kirameki despise him. After a certain number of phone calls, Ray accidentally knocks you over in the hallway at school. His shocked voice sounds surprisingly girly. And as you note this, he runs away embarrassed. After more phone calls, Yoshio tells you that Rei has been kidnapped. Should you choose to do so, you can rush to the scene where the Ijuin SP have already rescued him and Rei dismisses your concern. After an another certain number of phone calls, Yoshio comes up to you in the hall and excitedly tells you that he has some big news about Rei. Before he can tell you what it is, though, he is knocked out by Rei's security and remembers nothing after the conversation. So what's... but how does Rei feel about all this stuff? Tokimeki Memorial Wiki? You haven't explained that. What what direction is are they going? What direction do they want to go? He's a trans dude. So he presents as a guy. But that's the thing. But that's the thing. Is his grandfather forcing him to present as a guy, but he's comfortable being like, I'm a girl. That's what... You don't know. You don't know that. Don't, don't fucking assume his gender just because it fits into your narratives, okay? There's a letter in my desk. I wonder who it's from. I'm waiting for you under the tree of legends. Who wrote this? There's no name written on it. I better hurry over there. Well, I'll be damned. Ray's <laughs> sister? Did he have a sister?
いつも憎まれ口ばかりでごめんなさいでも今まで憎まれ口をたたいてたのがあなたに嫌われようとしていたからなの嫌われてしまえばあなたのことを忘れられると思ったからでもいつもあなたは私に電話をしてきてくれてあんなにひどいことを言ったのに何度も何度も私嬉しくていつも電話の向こう側で泣いてたのよあと私が誘拐された時廃工場まで来てくれたでしょこんな私を心配してくれるなんてすごく嬉しかったいつも気丈に生きてきたけどでも私だって普通の女の子よいつでもみんなと一緒にいておしゃべりしたり遊びに行ったりしたかったバレンタインの時だってあなたに明日からはそうなれるけど卒業する前に本当の私を見てほしかったから San says, I don't know how to feel about this. What we have here is a girl, and she's always been a girl, but she is forced to present like a boy throughout all of high school because of her family. And none of you can relate to that? It's nice! Happy Hab says, now a trans girl, what is that exactly? That's a good point. I have no idea.